the recording. All right, there we go. All right, we're recording right now. So make sure you guys have your art workbook and something to write with. All right. Um, I only see 25 people here, but we got to get moving. It's only 15 minutes. So if I open the workbook, we can see what we did last class, and it was balance. We talked about balance. We talked about symmetrical and asymmetrical shapes and how it gets applied to a piece of paper. Uh, we've done these examples back in second grade last year with like the uh, with the square reflection project and some other projects as well. Uh, the, the symmetry bugs too. If you guys remember the symmetry bugs, we did that, and it's a great example of symmetry. Uh, if we turn the page, it turns to this one. So we're gonna talk about positive and negative space because this is very important because space is one of the seven elements of art. So let's discuss what they have to talk about over here. It says, remember, the positive space is the actual space taken up by the line, shape, or form. The negative space is the shape or space surrounding a line, shape, or form. So basically anything that's on the outside of a shape, space, or form. So over here, we have a couple examples. There's two butterflies and there's two mugs. I did have to correct it because it was bothering me. They did a little spelling error. So there's supposed to be an I between the S and the T, but that's besides the point. So let's discuss what they want to do from us or what we what they want us to do. They want us to color the boxes below to show the differences between the positive and negative. So with that said, I did do an example last class right here of game controllers and I did an example of clouds. Can anyone tell me? Is the one the left side or is the one the right side positive or negative? Which one's which? Who can tell me which one's which? Which one's the positive and which is the negative? Anyone know? Or anyone want to take a quick guess? Taylor, which one do you think is which? Which one do you think this one is? The one I'm pointing to. Um, the positive. Okay, she's correct. Because if you look in the top description, positive space is the actual space taken up by the line, shape, or form. And that's what this shape is. It's a game controller. That means this part right here is the negative shape. So what you can do, you can either use a pencil, a marker, a colored marker, or a crayon, and using these drawn objects that they have for you over here, you're going to make the butterfly have a positive shape or positive space, I should say. That's what we're learning. You're gonna color it in. But then on the other side, you're gonna color in the negative space. So you're gonna subtract it basically. So if I'm subtracting the shape, all is left is the background. So I'm coloring on the outside just like how the game controller was. All right, good job. Now, same thing for the mug. The mug has something a little bit different, though. I forgot to tell it to the last class, but there's a hole. So that means the positive space is just the space where the shape is. So that means I have to avoid that center oval right there as best as possible, like so. But then on the opposite side, where it's negative space when you're subtracting, this part right here is still left over, so I have to color in this section right here, even though it's inside the shape. And then I can color this outside part right there. So this is the negative space. Just like that. I did show the last class an example using clouds. So I drew the clouds all in one space together. I'll hold it up to the camera so you guys can see. Uh, notice how one side is the positive, which is the colored in clouds, and the part that's not colored in. So I colored in the negative space, which is the outside of the clouds. I colored in the sky. So that's another great example of positive negative. Great. So that was positive negative space. I'll wait a little bit longer just because I feel like I went a little too fast here. So if you guys want to see my two examples, I'll have them up here for a tad bit longer. And then if you're done early, we're going to flip the page to the next part, which is still talking about space. If you guys are wondering, we do have Ms. Halder and Mrs. F here. So they're here to join us. 
All right, so with that said, I'm hoping you guys are doing a good job coloring. I see Sophia uh, coloring, which is really great. I see some people are still working. Taylor is still working, I see. So I will give them time. All right, I see a lot more faces uh, facing the computer, so I'm assuming people are finishing up. So I think it's safe to say I can get going. I can see Sophia's almost done. I see Alyssa's uh, rushing. It's okay. All right, so if you're following a little bit further behind, it's okay. As long as you guys understand the differences between positive space and negative space now, which is great. So let's just talk about space in general. Here we go. And again, like I said before, space is one of the seven elements of art. So we talked about shape. We talked about color. We talked about line. Let's talk about space. All right, it says above, in art, objects that are near are drawn large and closer to the bottom of the page. Objects that are far are drawn small and closer to the top of the page. Let's use this example below. So I have it on a blank sheet of paper because I already did it on the last class with on the actual worksheet, so I'm covering it. So on your worksheet or on your little packet, you have a picture of a house that's kind of like in the middle. Kinda, and then you have this empty space right here. So let's just do an example using a tree. So you can use a pencil, a marker, crayon. I fortunately have perfect colors for trees right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a tree that's near and then a tree that's far. So if I wanna draw a tree that's near, there's two requirements. I have to draw the tree large and I have to draw the tree closer to the bottom of the page. So if I use those two um, rules, I can kind of make a tree that looks close or cl a tree that looks near. So here's my big tree trunk. And here is the big tree top, right, like this. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit more texture in the inside. Here we go. We talked about texture last week, I think, or two weeks ago. There we go. And then if I want to draw an object far, the requirements are it needs to be smaller and closer to the top of the page. However, I can't draw on the very top of the page because that'll be in the sky. The highest I can go is where the horizon line or where the ground stops. So I'm going to draw my tree smaller. So here's my tiny tree trunk. And then the tiny top of the tree. Just like so. All right, so now looking at these two trees, it helps me understand the space inside this picture. I know that this tree is really close and I understand that this tree is really, really far. So hopefully that gives you guys a better idea of space. If you wanna add more decorations, if I just take this off my page, you guys can see what I did last class. I added some bushes, so the closer bush had to be bigger added some far bushes and the bush had to be smaller. Maybe I wanna add more bushes right there, here like that. And then notice how the pathway, if I had to draw a pathway, as it gets closer to the bottom of the page, it went wider. So my pathway is a lot wider compared to closer to the door. Okay, and those are optional. You don't have to do that. All I require you to do is draw the trees, but it gives you guys a better understanding of what to do. You guys want to draw a lake or something or another house or a garage you can. I'm going to draw a lake. There you are. Yeah, lake. You want to draw clouds? You can too. All right. So just to recap what we just talked about today, we talked about positive negative space. We talked about space. And I think if I flip to the front, yeah, here we go. Elements of art. We talked about line, shape, and form. We talked about color. We talked about texture, I think. We talked about space. So all that's left is one more, and I think that's for next week. So I think we can kind of take a preview of what's going on. Let's see. If I just skip to the next page real quick. Okay, looks like we're talking about perspective next, but I'm not sure if that's correct, because I think that's pretty advanced for you guys. All right, we'll figure it out next week. All right, so this week was just the idea of space. All right, I'm going to put my camera around. Um, I'm going to let you guys finish. If you guys are finished early, if you want to share it with us, 
you can just hold it up to the camera so we can all see. Otherwise, keep working. And we have about three minutes left, if not less. All right, I see Adrian holding his up. Nice. I see Adeline. She's holding up her picture. I see Noel holding up the picture from a couple of videos ago. Nice. Good job. Isabella, Isabella is showing me her uh, landscape drawing. Nice job. All right, with that said, I'm going to stop recording, but uh, we only have a few more seconds left. All right, I'm going to make sure it goes to my